right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Honcast.com. Carnage and Caldivar coverage coming out here. Of course, the Pro League continues here on now. What is a Sunday, and what is the final day here of week number one, that is, uh, of the Pro League. So with that said, again, we still got three more whole weeks ahead of us. Ten matches in total that each of these six teams play, two against one another. And ultimately, the top four move on to the playoffs. But anyways, it's been a really good start so far. We've definitely had some really good time, good matches, uh, even including yesterday. I mean, the last of us, although they didn't win a, win a game in the end, they definitely provided some entertaining matches uh, overall against both BMG and Sync Esports. But with that said, anyways, we have another big day ahead of us. And really, this first match especially, I am extra excited for. I'm sure you guys are, are at home that are tuning in. Bad Monkey Gaming, they're going up against Team Excellent. So, a uh, couple reasons. Team Excellent, not only, uh, once again, kind of making a resurgence here, going into the Pro League. They just qualified. Of course, we just had Pew on to kind of talk about how, how he feels our new team is. Uh, obviously, confident as usual, but also the biggest thing, Super KGE, the first time he's going to be playing against Bad Monkey Gaming since that whole situation happened. He, he was ultimately kicked from the team and uh, found a new home in Team Excellent. So, there really is uh, a lot of hype on, on this matchup and can't wait to get us started. With that said, and joined by my co-caster once again today, actually, my nuts, going to be joining myself. How's it going, man? Excellent. I've been looking forward to see the CEO of New York play for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. It is uh, it is going to be a, a big, big day here, no doubt. And again, this this first series here, I know you're really excited about the second, Pew versus Insania. <laughs> That's yeah. that's gonna be fun too, but I uh, know we, we got we got to make it through this one first. I know, tragic. Um, Super KG versus BMG isn't well looked bad either. Yeah, I th I think it's pretty good. Um, no, again, I happen to have Pew on though. I know you you weren't on at that time, but it, let's just say he was he was typical Pew. I mean, very confident <laughs> that they're gonna win. Not only today, but do very well in the Pro League. And he was like, Super KGE is going to just dominate Bad Monkey Gaming here today especially. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he can live up to that hype. But uh, he kind of set him up there. And there you go. There, there's the hero that will probably end up playing. Going to be going the prisoner route. But anyway, so real quickly, we look at the bands here. Rhapsody, Kronos, Kraken, and Fora. First pick torture, yet again, Drunken Master, Sir Benzington. Puppet Master and Prisoner, the pick so far. So, what do you make of it so far? Well, the standard ban, I think, is the Kraken, respect ban against the Gamefire Zoom, and Puppet Master, Puppet Master making it through the bans as well. So yeah. Kind of different from what we've been seeing so far. It is. I mean, Kraken coming out there instead. So, respecting the Limp Kraken, I guess. Yeah, for sure. You're on Team Excellent. but uh, And yeah, the Nephora uh, from BMG. And they're really looking at that a little different, but. It is what it is, and yeah, we got the picks as the results. Uh, Empath is going to be the final pickup of choice here for BMG. As far as the support goes, usually good synergy with, well, both really Puppet Master and Drunken Master, if it comes to it. But what do you think about the Prisoner choice, though, here, instead of maybe a Devo or, of course, a Gauntlet? Well, it kind of is Super KG's signature hero, but I don't I don't think Prisoner is that good. Yeah. It's going to be difficult to lock down like, the core heroes of BMG, both Drunken Master and Puppet Master. Are, I mean, I guess he can stick to Puppet Master maybe, but Drunken Master can just use his ultimate and get away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, it seems like Gauntlet seems to be the more powerful one of the three right now. Uh, the, the more preferred for, for reasons that, you know, this ultimate's obviously very strong and... And the grapple can be used in two different ways, really. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see the Prisoner. I will say the Prisoner changes that happen, changing his passive uh, to be based on whenever he uses a, an ability. However, when an ability is on cooldown, it then goes up in damage. So Super KG, we happen to get his opinion on that. I mean, he was excited. He thought that was a very good change and uh, really excited to see that. So Yeah, I uh, guess that's so. the reason they picked it then. But yeah. In my opinion, Prisoner is the most defensible of all the hook heroes. It really shines when defending high grounds or hooking from behind like, your own towers. Mm -hmm. And seeing the lineup that the Hellborn team already has, I don't think they want to stall out to the late game. I yeah. think it would be better off with an aggressive hook hero like Gauntlet that's able to get kills on his own. Well... They got the prisoner, so we'll see how that uh, how that does here. Ultimately, of course, the banning phase kind of picking up. In fact, just about finished here, 
As BMG has one more to go. There you go. Parasite Ophelia, Andromeda, Wretched Ag, Magnus, Engineer. It's just, it's just still interesting seeing heroes like Parasite and Ophelia make it to the second bands and then being banned there. But um, thus they are. I mean, Andromeda, kind of a different one, especially with what they already have over on BMG's yeah. side. Well, Andromeda is one counter to Tempest, I guess, and Pew is like the self-proclaimed best Tempest player in the world. So <laughs> That's true. I guess they're setting up for that. That is very true. We'll see if that pick ultimately comes out here or not. Um, again, though, excellent. You know, this lineup, too. We got some players over here from, from Stroyfooter. Apparently, he was making the point. Haxron, I guess, initially was supposed to be playing for Team Excellent. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that, I guess, didn't show up or something. And so, in the end, they went with Stroyfooter. So, um, but, uh, you know, got names like him, Fine, of course, and then Knox. Because seeing Knox back is good, too. He's definitely had his history on the scene. So, Yeah, Knox and Fine seem to play with Pew. Ever now and then, like they keep coming back to him, uh -huh. and Pew's actually managed to assemble a really respectable team this time. Yeah, <laughs> lots of really good players. Yeah, you could say it's a, as far as just looking at the players. This is arguably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, team he's put together. So, again, it's uh, it's got a lot of potential here. Uh, in this pro league, and again, we saw weaknesses for BMG and Sync yesterday. The Last of Us was able to compete against them and uh, nearly defeat them in, in, a, in a game in both of those series. So, I'm not saying the Last of Us is a bad team, but again, they're they're a newer team themselves, a l l less experienced, and in going into the event. So, I I really think this is going to be just be a great great series here today. But uh, BMG, they got a lot of extra time here to think about this. So we'll see where they follow it up, but. I mean the jungle options. You got your parasite and Ophelia taken away, so they could uh, they could go Tempest, and sure enough, they do. Kind of perhaps taking it away from the Great Pew as well with that pick. So well, excellent, kind of similar, really strong trial in here. They choose to run the torture as a support. Yeah, uh, they could still run her uh, him as a carry in the book lane. Pick a jungler as well. Nice. But I think they're gonna go with the trial in here because they're. There's no way they can compete with BMG's late game, so they gotta make stuff happen early game. Mm -hmm. Moon Queen. Ooh, they go the Moon Queen in the end. So now with that pick up there, do you still think that the trial line is gonna happen, or? Yeah. Okay. A Moon Queen trial line or a prisoner? Probably a Moon Queen trial line. Okay. Maybe even a Benson trial line. <laughs> yeah. That could be pretty de uh, deadly indeed. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see what they what they choose, of course. Pharaoh. BMG, they go with Pharaoh. Keeping it uh, pretty routine here as far as their pickups go. Nothing uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. but So, yeah, maybe expecting uh, either the Moon Queen or the Sir Bensington trial in here, perhaps. So what is BMG going to send mid, then, if that's the... It's, are they going to have... Uh, Empath Drunken Master? Something like that? I mean... Yeah, I think... Okay. I mean... They might even send a Puppet mid. I think mid is like the safest lane right now. Mm -hmm. Because if you send Puppet to one of the side lanes, he risks running into the Twilight lane, and that's not really what he wants, so... Both Fire and Drunken Master are capable of like suiciding, so if you have them in the side lanes, you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Let's see what they do here. Looks like Limp is going mid. It's kind of early to tell though. But. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna head towards a uh, everyone heading towards mid currently here for Team Excellent. Yeah, they're gonna try to take the sneaker out into the enemy jungle. Okay. The ramp in the middle. We'll see if that does anything. And probably not. Drunken Master uh, is gonna scatter that most likely. Yeah. Not Limp's gonna stay three. there. He's experienced. He knows what's up. Yep. <laughs> He knows all about this, so no, uh, no secret strategy going to be executed here. So yeah, he runs away, lets his team know, and a likely kill is to be unlikely here for Team Excellent. So instead, just going to roam around, maybe maybe ward up the jungle a little bit. They are dealing against the Tempest, of course. So yeah, they brought three wards up here, two real ones in the red. Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind of tells me they're not going to man up with the tri lane. They ward enemy jungle. We'll see. It's kind of pointless to ward up the enemy jungle if you're going to try line up there anyway, because you should be able to force the Tempest out. Yeah. If you ward it and try line long anyway, the Tempest is just going to switch jungle and reform. You can't really do anything about it. Because you can't leave your Moon Queen alone up there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, yeah, they are gonna... I don't know if they're gonna try lay necessarily. Uh, maybe they are. Torture is heading back towards the top. Uh, he's kind of uncertain. Maybe they're just waiting for to see where exactly, or who's where, but... That's gonna actually upgrade the Korean with the Rev Order, though. So, they're not getting that punished for putting up the enemy jungle. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's gonna get this before his spawn either. He's gonna wait to see if it's blocked or not. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna at least block the 30 second here. And then Hanskin, he's he knows how to, how to do this, so I'm sure he will counter this war to sight. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Never mind. Uh, it's a 50-50. Yeah. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Well, that time unsuccessful, so he's just going to have to go to the easy camp over here, actually. Oh, this is going to be difficult for him to kill outside as well because of the Abulas that spawned there now. Mm -hmm. It's like getting the Skeleton King in the big camp. It's just... <laughs> Not a friendly spawn, yeah. Well, so the lanes are kind of shaping up here. You got Empath actually rotating to the top lane now. And, oh, she's going to come in. Okay, I thought the wall. Yeah, that wall is going to come up. Beautiful angle right there. Moon Queen is forced to fight, actually. And Moon Queen is going to fall in the end. What a wall off from Seal Kid. Nox was not ready for that. Yeah, I don't know why they're running 2-1. It's just that was a weird decision as well. Yeah. The prisoner is going to do fine by himself, man. Figuring that they would be fine, but yeah, clearly not. <laughs> yeah, huge one from Empath. Yeah, and so now they rotate. It's like, okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. So Torture is up here now, speaking of fine, playing the Torture. Um, and that, that'll definitely change some things, or at least ideally, but even going to push into the tower, it's the lane position. He might not even be the best right here. So, But we'll definitely see how it progresses. But yeah, Bloodlust killed it. Did that go to Puppet? No, it went to Empath. Nah, still. Went to Empath. Not too bad. She has end. boots now. Yeah, that's a pretty good start to say the least. Gonna counter ward the pole camp right there as well. So uh, yeah, she just got it before the spawn as well. Yeah, yeah, this is a extremely good start for BMG. <laughs> How about this too? Super KGE going up against his replacement here, a limp in the middle lane. That's fun. Getting him kind of yeah, low. Looks actually. like Limp's doing better right now, though. In CS at least. Yeah. He has his bottle coming as well, so the HP is not that big of a deal. Yeah. Empath is coming in with aim this here. Ooh, this, yeah, this could be trouble, but not yet, because Drunken wants some regen first. But yeah, still. Yeah, I think Super KG is dead here. Yeah. Does he know? He knows. He feels like something's up there. It's a stagger. Essence Strain going to be coming out. There's the wall off, forcing to go an awkward path. And yeah, Super KG, he knows he's done for. He even misses the hook right there in the end, so. The end I, mean, I think they were waiting for him, but level 2 there. Okay. We to die, so she goes to two this thing. That's true. Well played. Well, now Tempest is free farming down the jungle. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. So it's just like, yeah, a little bit of trouble in my own jungle, and might as well just go to the other one because no one's gonna harass me down here. <laughs> that's exactly what's happening for the time being. So yeah, this start not not what Excellent was looking for. Off the bat, at least. Um, right now, Sir Bensington. At the same time, though, he is having a pretty good time bottom. Not too surprising. Being played by uh, Storyfooter here. Just over 300 yep. gold per minute. I've never seen this here in an uh, easy lane position before. It's going to be fun to see what it does for a 3 farm. That's true, yeah. Given that early armor. We'll see a uh, Staff of the Master, something. Global <laughs> ganking. Right away, yeah. Uh, oh, he might need to be careful. Tempest? No, never mind. Not going to be coming in just yet, at least. But yeah, with that joust, makes it difficult to set up a gank on, even so. Um, but yeah, no, that is going to be interesting to see what Story Fighter does, especially with the start and how it's going here. I'm going to be relying on him to be active, I'm sure, earlier on in this game. Moon Queen, despite her death, I mean, she's 16 and 7, Puppet Master 9 and 2. So as far as Creep Farm goes, you know, she is doing solid. In fact, they're going to be going for a kill right here. Puppet Master, nice puppet show on Iglesias, though. That, that prevented a freeze from coming out. And Puppet Master will survive, so... Kind of surprised they haven't been trying to get more kills in the top lane. Yeah. We kind of have to. Just trading form with the puppet master is not really what you want to do right now. Yeah, probably not gonna end up being the most effective in the end if that's gonna be the case. See prisoner going for another hook attempt right there, pulling in the creeps, but drunken master able to sidestep it. Are they going in again? Yeah, they're trying to. Puppet master just barely alive, puts the puppet show out, but no, he's gonna fall. But at what cost? There, Moon Queen does go down. The Puppet Show holding her in place with a tower doing damage. 
And Seal could actually get a credit for the kill. So probably not the exchange you're looking for. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Prisoner now in a little bit of trouble. Tempest already using the stuns. Drunken Master doesn't have enough mana. Nice Tormented Soul also coming out. And Limp will finish him off. So good uh, assistance even from the bottom lane in Pharaoh here. So even with that top kill, I still think uh, BMG is fairly happy with it in the end. Yeah. Limp's having a crazy good game right now. He's hitting 4 on GPM already. Yeah. Drunken Master is one of those heroes that can really snowball out of control as well. Yeah, minimal he items. Face boots. Yeah. Especially when the enemy team has to, a dual support lane in a tri lane. Mm -hmm. Those heroes are going to be so squishy. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, he already has enough for those ghost marches if he wants them. And as you're saying, that seems like the go to, especially for early on in the game. Gets you very active. And again, you, your minimal items needed. He, he can put out a lot of damage just with his skill set. And, uh, and the physical presence as well, so he's most certainly doing a great job here again. Bensington is doing a great job as well. He's level 6 now. So I think it's safe to say Team Excellent, they're probably going to need a story footer to get a little active here sooner than later. Would you like to see yeah, him maybe port top? Or? They're putting a lot of weight on his shoulders right yeah. now. I don't know if he's... I don't even think it's possible to do that much work with Bensington. <laughs> Oh, Moon Queen. Moon Queen's gonna fall up here. Drunken Master assisting. Pew's also gonna get picked off. Playing the Glacius. Limp getting credit for the kill. This Limp's is getting out of hand right quickly. Now. Yes, he is. We're so focused on Super KGE. He's like, he's what about well. me? There, he's gonna go for a kill in the other lane as well. Oh, he has a haste rune still. Jeez. It's gonna be wearing off, but yeah, it's gonna... Uh, if they get Sir Benzeton as well, that, that's gonna really put a yeah, struggle here. They got him. Oh, oh what? what just happened? Nice, nice. The Tempest ultimate comes out, it will hold him in place. So yeah, he already jousted. The joust did go off. And he's it's dead. So weird. That was weird, yeah. They like disjointed each other's abilities. Yeah. Both the launch and the charge went away. <laughs> well, so with him getting killed seven minutes in, <laughs> Pew's uh, trash talk not really living up to it. Maybe he meant they, were, they needed a warm-up game before yeah. they would win the series, but... Yeah, Limp, Limp especially, talk about making a statement himself. He's like, yeah, this is the reason why BMG picked me up. <laughs> he is a great player. We knew this. Definitely a, having a big impact here uh, so far. So, again, as you're putting it, I mean, Sir Bensington, you, you don't even know if he's kind of the hero that could really, <laughs> if you could put the weight on his shoulders and expect him to do recover for you because he even goes a, a fleet feat early on. As far as his build goes, so I mean, I guess it could just be turning that into steam boots here eventually, but yeah, problem. Usually, you don't see that route, but anyway. well, he's not exactly like a pebbles or something that completely changes the way the game plays out. Yeah, when he gets portal key, it's just I don't know what he's supposed to do with the form he's been given. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> love that idle animation. Yeah, not uh, not necessarily the most impactful. I mean, they're gonna try for something right here. This is a big moment because. If they can manage to get a kill right here, especially on the Puppet Master, but you just see, uh, they, they knew something was up. They're already hugging the tower. This Ward of Sight most likely saw Super KGE pick up the Invis room, coming up to the top lane. So the likelihood of getting a kill up here, very unlikely. Unless they go for Empath off to the side. But, uh, oh, he's going to run right into them, almost. <laughs> Okay, he's hugging Prisoner. This is a chance for a kill right here. He does have Prison Break. In comes the Joust. Empath is dropping the Essence Slate, keeping her up for now. Oh, she goes inside Tempest right there. It's going to be fine. And now Prisoner is taking a lot of damage. Puppet Master with the Voodoo Puppet out. Prisoner is safe, surviving in the meantime. Not for long, though. He does go down. Look at Empath, helping to keep him alive. The total oh, auto attack, though, right there. The Lancelot doing some work. The Joust gets the kill on Empath. And Stroyfooter does get the double tap in the end. So, yeah, it's actually, a huge space coming out. But. Yeah. Well played by Stroyfoot there. Works out pretty well in the end. In their favor, so. Yeah, well oh, played indeed. Trouble. Is he's he? chasing him down. Uh oh, fine. He's like, somebody port, please. <laughs> I need help. Okay, he's going to be good. Man down from Lin. Man down. <laughs> totally should have gone to that forest right there. Yep. Decided not to. There's a pull in. No, just out of range. That was close, but even if they did catch him, you know. Actually, he didn't have Untouchable, so that could have been something, but that yeah, would have been tough. Um, but hey, you know, we're, we're, we are going to learn a, learn a bit about Sir Bensington, definitely, as far as being that short lane farmer initially. Obviously, they've switched it up now. 
And uh, now Nox is needing to get his farm up, so... Yeah, Nox is recovering both, but... The way they're playing it now is... Almost the late game. Mm -hmm. Earlier they tried to put pressure on the puppet, to get an advantage that way. Now they're just trading for him, the puppet is reforming, the Tempest is reforming. Yeah. It's gonna fall further and further behind this way. Yeah, the... Moon but then queen. again, a moon, a moon Queen without farm is not really that useful, so... No! But at the same time, it is a Moon Queen, and we have seen those games before where you happen to be yeah. behind and she can recover, so. And Nox is a really good farmer at that, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's been I mean, it, knowing. Yeah, the, the game's not over, but it's really difficult. Oh, jeez, they're locking down Sir Bensington with everything. He can't even get a joust off, and it will be a kill most likely. Yes, it will. Beautiful lockdown there. From the Tempest Ultimate to the Puppet Show to the SS Drain Link Stun. I mean, that was just a good execution on their part. And Sir Bensington simply could not joust away. So, in the end, again, he's kind of been the, the shining star so far and him getting killed yet again. Puppet Master, even more importantly, for BMG perhaps. Now 310 go from the bottom lane. This could be a big kill attempt right here. Pharaoh's taking some good damage. Chain Reactions hits. There's the Ultimate from Moon Queen. And down goes Jonas a fan. Flying gets credit for the kill, but still a kill is a kill. And Moon Queen will take the assist on that. So, again, Team Excellent at least uh, keep it in there for now. Picking up that kill right there. Whispering Helm already finished throwing Puppet Master with that said. But there's the Energizer on Nox. Again, it's slightly nerfed, so it's not oh. as impactful now. But You went Energizer from Moon Queen? Yeah. So, see, especially with the change, you, you don't like that? I don't know. It's, a, it's kind of a bad build. I guess they're going to try to take, take team fights really early. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe up here is uh, what they're going for, Sir Bensington. No. <laughs> <laughs> that voodoo puppet came out, and you pretty much knew he was dead. Empath, in the meantime, he has his ultimate. Can he get close enough to somebody to go inside? The S is like keeping him on. There we go. He goes inside Puppet Master. And now Torture is going to be locked down. Puppet Master doing plenty of damage in return. Prisoner, in the meantime, he's going YOLO, but that was a bad decision. Drunken Master joins the party, and Super KG gets picked off. And now Nox is like, okay, I'm in trouble. I'm just going to dodge as much as possible. Unfortunately, as much as possible is not going to be enough. Moon Queen is going to fall. And it's a genocide for Bad Monkey Gaming. Wow. That was... Lim comes in and cleans them up. Yeah. Double tap for Limp. Genocide this early on in the game. He, it, nobody even died for BMG either, so... That's not good news. Yeah, that might be the nail in the coffin. This game is probably over at this point, yeah. sadly. Not going as planned. Excellent kind of drafted a, a lineup without the recovery mechanic, and when they fall behind in the early game, it's very difficult to come back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and, and again the laning decision. It's the they started with the aggressive dual lane, and clearly yeah. that kind of bit them in the ass as <laughs> Empath just roamed over and set up an easy wall. That, that was a very greedy decision. We mm -hmm. saw someone else do that, like right, like recent gaming, I think. Yeah. The dual lanes and it worked out then. Yeah. Maybe they watched that game and what to do. <laughs> Pete that success, but it can work for us too. Yeah, it didn't uh, didn't go as planned, I'm sure. Eh? It's a, yeah. it's the best yeah, of the three. just got that early form levels and just won every lane for them with the ganks. Yeah, he was very active, no doubt. Uh, five oh and two. In fact, oh, I thought he was going in right there, but I think he thought he was too. But in the end, deciding not the best decision. As Torture is nearby, but here we go now. Staggers Sandy he is going to lunge him backwards. No, in comes the free zone. He does use Untouchable, so he's going to get a lot of damage right now. In the meantime, Tempest taking some damage to the Moonbeam right there. He does have an element of void in five seconds. Pharaoh rats the Pharaoh in the face. Super KG, he lunges him away, and down goes Prisoner 945 right there. Sir Pensington joining the party, but he came a little bit too late, unfortunately. Tempest Ultimate, it was used, but actually not the best one right there. Glacius going to be picked off, though, and Team Excellent. They just can't get it going. They're just too far behind early on in this game. Bad Monkey Nox Gaming. Did, Nox didn't even use his Energizer that fight. No, he didn't, yeah. It's like the perfect opportunity when they were chasing across the river. But. Well, I think that uh, that timer in 15 minutes is looking pretty attractive right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the team excellent. Yeah, I mean, you just see it's the... the Limp once again makes a pretty solid plays throughout that fight, and obviously Puppet Master, he's going to have an assassin trout here shortly. Is he fine trying to get himself killed by Ancients? That's not going to happen, though. Does he already have the assassin trout? No, just needs a pattern now. 
the uh, broadswords coming. So. Oh, he's running into me. Nah. We'll turn away from each other. Maybe. I don't think they saw each other, though. He's thinking about it. He's playing so aggressive right now. Yeah, he's, he's feeling confident. He's going to run right past Super KG. He doesn't even care. He wants the Moon Queen, damn it. Out comes the Untouchable. What can they do? Well, they can maybe try to do that. But actually, now Prisoner is going to be the one that falls out. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Concebo comes out. And GG, well played. Game number one. It yeah. goes to Bad Monkey Gaming, and that was just that was just DMD a, really made a statement with a that lesson. Game. That was yeah. very impressive. They uh, make a statement there in game number. Two. I don't know if they were listening in on the uh, the interview that we did, but <laughs> clearly uh, something was motivating for them. No, but you know, obviously, again, that, that is BMG, and just uh, we we know that, that they could play at that level, so it's really not that surprising in the end. But uh, I think more team excellent, you know, their decision making. Maybe not the best, and have to make some adjustments going into game number two. So, do uh, you think the yeah. draft was maybe a little bit of a fault too? Definitely, they had the opportunity to get the tempest after the second banning phase. They had the first pick, and they chose to pick uh, Lachius, I think. Is that right? 